Hey, what's up gamers? Today, we're going to look into the world of emulation. If you're new to this, emulation is basically like having a magical portal that lets you play games from one system on another. Imagine playing your old PS3 games on your shiny new Steam Deck. Cool, right? That's what emulation does. It tricks your Steam Deck into thinking it's a PS3, so you can relive those epic gaming moments anytime, anywhere. If you're as excited as we are about today's topic, show some love by liking and subscribing to Retro Pocket for more amazing content. First off, what even is emulation? Imagine your device is a chameleon. Emulation is like giving it the ability to mimic another device entirely. It's software, or sometimes hardware, that lets one system, called the host, act like another system, called the guest. This means you can run software or games designed for another platform on your current device. For example, you can play PS3 games on your Steam Deck as if it were a PS3. Pretty rad, right? Now, let's talk about the Steam Deck. This handheld powerhouse runs on a Linux-based OS, making it super flexible for emulation. Thanks to its solid hardware and adaptive software, the Steam Deck can emulate a wide range of consoles, from the NES to the PS3. The key player here is EmuDeck, a tool that sets up all your emulators and ROMs with just a few clicks. It's like a magic wand for retro gaming. When you fire up an emulator on your Steam Deck, it creates a virtual environment that replicates the original console's hardware and software. This means your games think they're running on their native system, allowing you to enjoy classics with modern enhancements like save states and improved graphics. The Steam Deck's controls and display adapt seamlessly, giving you a smooth gaming experience. All right, let's kick things off. First, you'll need to download the EmuDeck installer, fire up your Steam Deck, and open the browser. Head over to emudeck.com and download the installer. Once it's downloaded, we need to move it to the desktop to make sure everything works smoothly. To do this, open Dolphin, which is the default file manager app on Steam OS. You can find it in the Applications menu. Once Dolphin is open, look to the left side and you'll see a Downloads tab. Click on it by pressing the right trigger or using the right touchpad. Inside the Downloads folder, you should see the EmuDeck installation file named emudeck.desktop. Now, we need to move this file to the desktop. Right-click on the EmuDeck file by pressing the left trigger on your Steam Deck. A menu will pop up, click on Cut. Next, minimize Dolphin and go to your desktop. Right-click on any empty silo space on the desktop and select Paste One File. Boom! The installer is now on your desktop. Double-click the Install EmuDeck icon on your desktop. A prompt will appear. Just click Continue. The installer will start downloading files, open a terminal console window, download updates, and install EmuDeck. Once the installation is complete, you'll see a welcome screen with two setup options, Easy Mode and Custom Mode. Easy Mode is for the newbies, and we're nothing short of gaming legends who sometimes need such tutorials. If you haven't guessed it yet, we're going with Custom Mode to give you more control over the setup. Click Continue. The next window will ask you where you want EmuDeck to create your emulation folder, which includes ROM directories, save files, emulator settings, and more. We recommend using a micro SD card so your ROMs don't take up precious internal storage space. Plus, you can hot swap multiple SD cards, one for emulation ROMs and another for your Steam games. After selecting your storage option, pick the Steam Deck from the list of devices and click Continue. Now you'll see a list of emulators. Select RPCS 3 for PS3 emulation and click Continue. You can of course choose any other emulators you plan on using. Going ahead to the Emulation Configurations window, make sure to select RPCS 3 again. This ensures that EmuDeck will automatically configure the emulator with Steam Deck optimized settings. You'll also have the chance to tweak various quality of life settings like enabling auto saves, game bezels for non 16 to 9 aspect ratios, and more. Adjust these settings to your liking. 
Once you've gone through all the QOL options, EmuDeck will show a summary window with all the emulators and configurations you've chosen. Double check that RPCS3 is selected for installation and configuration, then click the Finish button. EmuDeck will now install and configure the emulators and create the ROMs folder. Once it wraps up, you'll get a notification saying the installation is complete. The next window will offer to let EmuDeck auto-create ROMs and BIOS folders with a USB flash drive, but we're going to do it the manual way. Hit skip for now. When you see the Welcome Back to Emu Deck screen, go ahead and close Emu Deck. Now, let's dive into adding your PS3 ROMs and installing the PS3 firmware. First things first, if you created your ROMs folder on your SD card, you'll need to access it. Open up Dolphin, the default file manager app on SteamOS. On the left side, scroll down to the Removable Devices tab and click on it. You'll see a primary tab, click on that, and then enter the emulation folder. Inside the emulation folder, go into the ROMs folder. Once you're in the ROMs folder, look for a folder titled PS3. This is where you'll drop your ROMs. Now, let's talk about ROMs, because downloading games you don't own is illegal. We won't show you how and where to get PlayStation 3 ROMs if you own the game. However, you can create your own ISO files with the right hardware. For more details on how to dump the games you own, visit the Quick Start page on the RPCS 3 website. Once you have your ROMs ready, copy them into the PS3 folder. Easy peasy! Next up, we need to install the PS3 firmware. Open Firefox or any other browser you use and go to the RPCS3 website, rpcs3.net. On the home page, click the Quick Start button, scroll down the Quick Start page until you see the Software Requirements heading. There, click on the PlayStation 3 System Software button. This will take you to the PlayStation website. Scroll down until you arrive at the How to Reinstall the PS3 Console System Software section. Click the Reinstall Using a Computer button and then hit the Download PS3 Update button. Firefox will notify you that the file you're trying to download is a potential security risk. Click the arrow, then click the Allow Download button and wait for the file to download. Firefox will, by default, place the file in your Downloads folder. Now, let's get that firmware installed in RPCS 3. Open RPCS 3 by clicking the Application Launcher button, then the Games tab. After you open RPCS 3, click on File. Install Firmware. Next, click the Downloads tab, select the PS3 updat pup file and click Open. RPCS 3 will now install the firmware. A new window will open with compiling PPU modules shown on it. Wait for the installation to finish and then close RPCS 3. Once the installation finishes, it will notify you that the installation is complete. Check whether RPCS 3 is on the post installation list and click the Add Games button. The following window will give you the option to plug a USB flash drive into your Steam Deck and let EmuDeck automatically create ROMs and BIOS folders, but we're going to show you how to add games manually. Click the Skip For Now button. Once you're on the Welcome Back to EmuDeck window, close EmuDeck. All right, it's time to add some games on your Steam Deck. Open up EmuDeck on your Steam Deck. Once you're on the home page, click the Steam ROM Manager button. This will allow us to add our PS3 games to Steam. When you click it, Steam ROM Manager will need to close Steam, so go ahead and allow it to do that. Next, you'll see a window called Parsers. This is where we configure which emulators and games we want to add to Steam. First, click the Toggle Parsers switch to turn off adding games for every emulator you have installed. We don't want to clutter up our Steam library with every single game from every emulator. Now, let's enable the specific parsers we need. Turn on the Emulation Station DE and Emulators Parsers. This setup allows you to use Emulation Station to open emulated games you don't want to add to Steam while in game mode and to open RPCS3 without going back to desktop mode every time you want to tweak settings. Super handy, right? Next, we need to scroll down to find the PlayStation 3 parsers. Disabling Steam will disable left click with the right trackpad, but no worries, you can scroll down with your finger since the Steam Deck has a touch screen. Enable both PlayStation 3 parsers. This step is crucial to ensure your PS3 games show up in Steam. 
Once you've enabled the necessary parsers, click the preview button. This will show you a list of all the games Steam ROM Manager is about to add to Steam. After that, hit the parse button and wait for Steam ROM Manager to fetch all your games. This might take a minute, so be patient. When Steam ROM Manager lists all your games, click the Save to Steam button. You'll see a notification in the upper right corner of the screen that says Done Adding Removing Entries. This means your games have been successfully added to Steam. Now, you can close Steam ROM Manager and open Steam. Go to your Steam library and click the Collections button. You should see a collection titled PS3. If you see it, congrats! You've successfully added your PS3 games to Steam. This is the final step in your countless hours of nostalgic gaming journey. We're now going to configure and patch games in RPCS3. Did you know that? While some PS3 games work perfectly with the default RPCS3 settings, a lot of them need custom configurations or patches to run their best. The first thing you should do is visit the RPCS3 compatibility page at https colon slash slash rpcs 3.net slash compatibility. This page is your best friend. It lists all the games and their recommended settings. Just then search for each game you want to play and see what tweaks you need to make. Once you get what you're looking for, open up RPCS3 and find the game you want to tweak. Right-click on the game and select the Create Custom Configuration option. This will open up a new window where you can adjust various settings like CPU, GPU, and more. Make sure to follow the recommended settings from the compatibility page to get the best performance. Next up, let's talk about patches. Many popular PS3 games have patches that can improve performance, fix bugs, and even add cool features like 60 FPS modes. To get these patches, select your game in RPCS3, right-click it, and then click the Manage Game Patches button. In the Game Patches menu, you'll see a Download Latest Patches button. Click it and confirm that you want to download all available patches for that game. Once the patches are downloaded, you can enable or disable individual patches based on what you need. This is super handy for customizing your gaming experience. And there you have it! You can now enjoy your favorite PS3 games on your Steam Deck. Whether you're reliving the glory days of the PS3 or discovering classics for the first time, emulation on the Steam Deck offers a fantastic gaming experience. Love what you see? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Retro Pocket for your regular dose of entertainment magic. Happy gaming!